All right, YouTube, tonight's project, real quick. Doing an oil change on my 2001 BMW R1150GS. The reason I'm not using my lift is because my Norton's on there and it's way too much work to take it off. Oil isn't that hard to change on this thing. I do have some goofy skid plates on here, so I gotta take this off. The filter is under here. Sight glass, super easy to find. And then you just fill it up from the top. It takes four quarts. Make sure you get the BMW stuff. New crush washer. But uh, I put a ton of miles on this thing, so I have to do this kind of regularly. All right, so I got little skiddies off. <clears throat> what you're going to need to get the filter out is this little guy here. And uh, I give it a little tap, tap, tap to help it out. There's the filter. It's recessed up in the engine. I didn't design the bike, I'm just delivering the message, so don't shoot the messenger. I think it's kind of a dumb, a dumb setup. My personal opinion, but whatever's. I almost forgot to mention, you're gonna need a nice uh, eight mil to get the drain plug out. And oil looked pretty good. This thing uses about a quart of oil every three or 4,000 miles. After I do an oil change, I always like to, uh, you know, start it up, let it run for a while, get the operating temperature. Super dark out here. But we're climbing the temperature. Make sure there's no leaks. Make sure everything's forked right. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, the oil change is done on the R1150GS. Super straightforward. Drain the oil. Take the filter out. Put the filter and the plug back in, fill it up with oil, check it, run it, make sure there's no leaks. I'm going to put the torque specs in the description, and um, I got some more videos coming up. A uh, little CB1100 action there, and under that cover there is my 1979 CBX six-cylinder. Um, so we're going to be doing some stuff with that, so don't forget to subscribe, like, like the video. Uh, Mason George Customs on Instagram and uh, see you guys soon.